Hey guys, welcome to my studio. Guess what? We have something ultra fun planned for today. So you might be wondering like, okay, what, what is this? I don't know, maybe like once a year I do a stamp carving video where I take this sweet tool and you put these like blade things on the end and dig into it. You make some stamps. For instance, last year we made this really sweet moth. Oh, but wait, there's more. The super cute avocado. And you know, then there's other things like mushrooms and leaves and ice cream, stuff like that, you know? So last time I did this, we had a little bit of an accident with this, you know, uh, dug into my finger. <laughs> I won't get too detailed, but I had to turn the video off at that point and like... Go fix some stuff. Um, so we're gonna try to do this a little less, like, stupidly this time. Also, I'm not the type to put, like, disclaimers on videos super often, but I am gonna say I don't have, like, a lot of print making supplies. Literally, this is what I have. So with that being said, it isn't super realistic for me to have like the block printing inks and the rollers and all that stuff. We're not, we're not gonna be fancy. We're just here to have fun. I don't have room for all that stuff in my crowded studio anyway. So just using what we have. So let's get to uh, cutting stamps and seeing how they turn out. We will be um, using acrylic gouache for the ink. That's what I've decided for today's video. Maybe some other stuff too for feeling experimental, but stay tuned to find that out. They're falling out. All right, I'm just gonna put this down. All right, got a little stampy cutter. Let's uh, see what's inside. Ooh, look at those tools. Okay, you might be wondering why I have this ceramic block here that I like colored myself with Sharpies. <laughs> We're gonna use this as a cutting block. I normally have like a huge cutting mat, but eh, that's down in my packing studio right now and I don't feel like going down there, so. Let's unscrew this. What kind of damage can we do today, guys? I don't think I should ask that question. Not when we have like sharp objects. I don't wanna get stitches. Let's cut this little block. Perfect. Here's our little slabby slab. If you do this, cut away from yourself, like, um, away. <laughs> Keep your hands away from it. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I wanna like carve out of this. I'm so excited for this, but you know my little palette pal pins? I just think that would be such a fun design because I could do like a rainbow of color when I go to like stamp it. Using that for a reference. Also a little self promo. You can get this along with like five other really cool enamel pins at mirabyler.com. This is gonna be so stinking cute. Let's get the eyes. Guys, look how fun this is. Ah, we get to turn this into a stamp. Get out. Actually don't get out, stay here and watch it, all right? Okay, this is so satisfying, guys. I kid you not. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Look at that. I love all the little scraps. <laughs> So satisfying. So this outer part can be kind of sloppy because we're chopping all that off later anyway. <laughs> all right, so far so good. We're just gonna do the little eyes now and then cut this out and then we're gonna use it and it's gonna be really fun. So let's have at it. By the way, I am gonna do another one after this. So you're in for double the artwork, double the fun today. All right, this is what our Palette Pal looks like right now. 
Now is the point where we're gonna get really extra and do something completely unnecessary. But let me tell you what, it is so satisfying, like so incredibly satisfying that I can't not do it. So you're in for a treat. We're gonna take this little guy. The tip is kind of like rectangular. Really good for scooping out large areas. Make sure it's nice and tight in there. You do not wanna get hurt on this part, so. If you are like young, don't do this at home unless like your parents are with you or something. Be careful. Okay, so all of this here, I am going to cut around it. But before I do, this is like my favorite part. I'm just gonna like carve into all this outward stuff, you know, on the outside, cause I can, you know. Ready for some satisfaction? Here it goes. Ooh. Again. Now, if that doesn't just like make your day, then I don't know, but it's, it's making mine. Pretty happy here. So I'm just gonna do that because it's fun. It's completely unnecessary, but fun. Literally my favorite part of the entire project. <laughs> Guys, look, he's all ready for his stamping adventure. Got some B watercolor paper. All right, I'm just gonna use this dirty palette because I don't need much paint. <laughs> Time to paint this guy. This is a fairly easy process, but you should maybe be quick if you're gonna use gouache paint like me. Um, if you're using other stuff, just kind of Time it on your own, you know? Oh man, ah, I need something. <gasps> A little hack to prevent drying. A little bit of green. Why am I going in a weird order? I feel like I'm frosting a cookie. <laughs> Take our little cookie palette. All right, we're just gonna stamp this. I don't have like a handle, so this is what we're doing. All right, moment of truth. You ready for this? Let's see if this was a success. Oh, no, it wasn't. Hold on. I can already tell. <laughs> Ah, no, what do we do? What if I ruined this? Fail. Oh no, this was such a fail. <laughs> Guys, I really thought that was gonna work. It's worked in the past, but uh, that was with regular gouache, not acrylic gouache. <laughs> All right, this time we're using some old Ahuhu markers. This is what I used the last time I did stamps and it did work. I don't know if this is actually helping, <laughs> but it makes me feel powerful. <laughs> okay, <gasps> it stuck to the thing and came off. You know what I think we need to do? We just need a different kind of paper because this is really textured. At the ready, we have our colors, okay. Are you guys ready? This is intense. We are not messing around on my channel today. Whew. Okay, 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 are you ready? Are you ready? Boom! I really hope this works. We are on attempt number three right now. Moment of truth, my heart is beating. Ready, steady, spaghetti. It worked, it worked. 
what the heck it works. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, wait, the rainbow's backwards. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. The rainbow's backwards. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna do this again, but with a darker palette color. And I think it's, ah, I'm so excited, guys. <gasps> ah, this one is so cute. Ah, I'm so, so happy with that. This one is cute, but definitely this palette I think is cuter because this one kind of looks orange, you know? What do you think? What one do you like better? You got your use, little buddy. Okay, so let's cut ourselves a little piece. I have two really cool ideas actually though. Ooh, so satisfying. That cut was a good one. Can you guess what we're doing with these two pieces? They're gonna go together, kind of in like a set. So, let's just get started. Ah, I am so, so, so excited for that one, but we're gonna do a little pencil. It's gonna be cute. Do some little dotted lines down the middle. We like, okay. You know, we already did a giant palette, so May as well do some art supply stamps. This is so cute. Like my pile of shreds. It's so fun to play with that stuff. Oh my. All right guys, we have our little paintbrush and our pencil. So exciting. Let's create some stamps. Should we just like do it on the same page? That would be so cute. I'm gonna do gray, brown, and pink. A Little bit of gray right here. Ready, steady, spaghetti. I don't know why I keep saying that. Ready for this? Three. Two, one. <gasps> that is so cute! Oh my goodness, it even has like a wood grain look because the way I colored it. I'm doing another one. I'm so happy. The big reveal. Three, two, one. Oh, I forgot to do the silver. Man, I got overexcited. Huh, happy accident, right? <laughs> All right, we have one more stamp left and that is this pencil. So let's color it and hope it turns out great. All right, ready for this? Patting it down. All right, the big reveal. <gasps> that is so stinking cute. Oh, that's cute. I like it. I think I like this one better but this one is still really cute. Just to throw off the symmetry of the picture. <laughs> Ready? Oh, that one turned out much better than this one. Ah, that is so stinking adorable. Okay, this pencil one might be my favorite stamp. If you can't tell, it's like a fun one to use. Man, that was so fun. I thoroughly enjoyed this. I was really afraid to cut my hand open with this since it happened last time. That's why it's been like a year since I've done this. I really hurt myself pretty bad doing that. So that's why you gotta be careful. Cut away from yourself, you know. But yeah, this one was really fun. Look at that cutie. These two were also really fun. <laughs> If you make these and you want to switch colors that are like completely different, just wash it off in the sink. Most of it should come off, especially if you're using something like these Ahuhu markers. But like even my acrylic gouache washed off like really well. I hope you had fun experimenting with me. Uh, if you did art along with me in this video, let me know what you created. 
And if you like doing stamp stuff, let me know as well. Well, that's all. So have a good day and thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.